Good morning. Good morning. I'll be online as well. My name is John Dubois. I'm a member of the Faith family along with my family, Jennifer, Braden, and Amelia. And I'm grateful to serve as your 2021 Stewardship Chair. As I prepared for what to write and what to say surrounding stewardship, I struggled. I researched, I asked questions of members of faith, and wondered, am I truly the right person to lead faith stewardship efforts? It wasn't until I opened my heart, pivoted from a mindset of frustration to gratitude to grow in stewardship, thanks to Bria Meredith, who a few weeks ago reminded me of that, and spent that all-important time with God that I was able to truly prepare for the conversation I wish to have today with my faith family and the ongoing conversation in the months and years to have, or to come, excuse me, surrounding stewardship. What is stewardship? We've heard a lot about it over the last few weeks, and I wish to talk a little bit more about it today. Stewardship is God's call to care for all he has charged us with in our journey here on earth. Stewardship is a way of life for Christians. It's a word used to describe how each of us makes a commitment of our time, our talent, and our treasures to help accomplish God's work, all while living a life we are called to live. Today I suggest we talk about three important facets of stewardship, being time, talents, and treasure. I'm going to ask you to consider what you are giving of your time, talents, and treasures today, but more importantly, what you may be able to give to Faith Lutheran and our God moving forward. Time. As I thought about time and listened over the last few weeks and did a lot of research as it relates to my faith, for me, it's investing time into the church. It's being present. It's becoming a better student of God as often as possible and carrying out his word. You see, time spent at faith has been an incredible journey for my family. Roughly three years ago or so now, my family chose to join faith. And it really wasn't a family choice. My wife, she's the type A personality of our family, and I love her for it. She said, hey, we really need to consider reconnecting back into our faith, because we become unconnected for various different reasons. And we walked through the doors of faith, a place that we're familiar with. Um, my grandmother, Doris Florence, has been here for, I believe, 55 plus years as a member. So we were familiar with this place. I'm glad we walked through that door. And over the last three years, we've grown as a family. My kids attend Sunday school just this morning. My daughter attended her Zoom, and she loved it. My son attended his Zoom, uh, of which Peter leads in a confirmation class. And one of my favorite parts of Sunday at home is when they do the... Um, that's spending time with God, because it teaches the kids to have a little bit of fun and pray to our God, who means so much to us. For me, I felt that I could spend more time with God. And I struggled. How do I do that? I don't have the best voice, so I can't sing. I have five thumbs when it comes to being handy. I was a bit confused by all the ministry you have because there's so much at faith. And it wasn't until about a year ago I got a phone call driving back from Pennsylvania from a member of faith. And it was a 585 number. And I think you all agree with this. More often than not, you see it and you hang up because it's a robocall if you don't have it in your contacts. Right? Um, however, I picked this one up and it was a member of faith. And they had start started, for lack of a better term, suggesting to me that I consider be part of the Faith Leadership Board. And I would tell you about one minute into that 45-minute conversation, and it's a long ride home from Pennsylvania, so I had time, and I wanted to be a good listener, because it's important to listen to God. I was sold. So I got off that phone call, and I called my wife, and I said, hey, honey, you know, I've shared with you a little bit that I want to spend more time at Faith. I had this opportunity to potentially join the Faith Leadership Board. And she's like, go for it. So I picked up the phone, I called that faith member back and said, I'm in. Um, and I'm grateful for this faith community who voted me as part of the leadership board earlier this year. You know, the time that I'm able to invest as part of the faith leadership board has really helped me as a Christian, more so than it's helped faith Lutheran. And I'm grateful for that, as I've been able to grow in my faith of God. Talents. There's a lot of talent here at faith. Um, in sitting on the leadership board, I didn't recognize how much talent there is. The called staff, the non-called staff, the amount of talent that goes into making our little church as part of Greater God's Kingdom work is impressive. But I challenge this church and I challenge my fellow Christians um, to think about the talents you have. 
What more can you do at faith? Perhaps there's talents you have that don't fit with what we offer today. However, there are talents you think that may add value to faith. Bring them forward. Talk to a called member. Talk to a fellow member of faith. Talk to me. We'd love to hear your ideas because as we grow in our faith here at faith, we need continuously change. A good example of that is the live stream that a lot of you are listening today on. Think about live stream. If we just stepped back, call it five years ago, there really was no such thing as live stream here at Faith Lutheran, to my knowledge. Today, it's a critical part of our ministry and how we worship. And it's not without the talents of the people that put so much time, effort, and energy to allowing our live stream to go off as it does. We wouldn't be able to worship the way we do today. Talents. There's a lot here at Faith. Consider how you can get back to your talents. And treasure. You know, key component of stewardship. This is the part, and I asked Braden and Mia, my daughter and son, to pay attention to this one. This is the part where I unplugged as a Christian. Um, but I think it's important that regardless of your age, if you're a, a child, if you're a youth, if you're middle-aged, older in your journey in life here on earth, that you think about treasure. You know, the scripture tells us that we should give 10% of what we have back to our God. And it's so important to give back what we have from a monetary perspective. Because you see what we have today, the fact that I'm speaking in front of this pulpit, it's all driven in part by the treasures that we give to faith in our God. Please consider giving of what you can. I know I'm going to have a conversation at some point soon with my family because it's a conversation we haven't had around what treasure and how, how much treasure, if you will, can we give back to faith. It's probably a great conversation to have as we grow in our faith and a great teaching for my kids. <clears throat> There's several ways for you to give of your treasure. For all faith members, a 2021 seal pledge card has been mailed to you. You may have gotten already the mail or will be coming this week if you haven't. Um, please make a, a choice that's comfortable for you and return that pledge card. No one will know what's in that pledge card except for you and for God. The purpose of the pledge is for you to state your monetary commitment for the next year to your faith family and to God. Within that same mailing, you will receive a record of your giving statement from January of this year through August of this year, along with your sealed 2020 pledge card. Take a moment, take a peek, and see if you fulfilled your pledge, your treasure, to God. If you haven't, consider attempting to meet that goal through the end of this year. And if you have, maybe there's a little bit more you can give. We appreciate your consideration. For all our non-faith members that are here today, and for all those watching online, welcome. We're glad you're here. This is a great place. And for faith members, for that matter, there's alternative ways to give. You can do through via text, 833-958-1685. Online, via faithpenfield.org, through the giving link on our website, or through mailing directly to the church here at 2576 Browncroft Boulevard in Rochester, 14625. So we've talked a lot about stewardship over the last three weeks. If you remember, three weeks ago we talked about the spirit of gratitude. Last week, Jeff and Pastor Ben talked about time. Um, and it was fantastic to hear Jeff's story about the final moments of spending time with his father, but more so spending time with God. And today we talked a little bit about treasure. So I'm going to ask you to do something for me as my fellow Christians and followers of God. I'm going to ask you to do this. Spend some time thinking about your time, your talents, and your treasure. Talk to your family. Talk to your friends. Talk to faith. Talk to me. Most importantly, talk to your God. Create a plan. And take action upon that plan. Similar to your sealed pledge card for members that I had talked about, and for non-members and whoever, perhaps you want to write down your plan and you want to work to take action against that plan. We're here to help because we can't do it alone. God will guide us and you have so many other members of faith here that will help you in the process. Regardless of what action you take, know this. God does not judge us on how much time, how much talent, or how much treasure we give. Rather, why? We give of our time, our talent, and our treasures is what truly matters. Because 
It's, in our, it's at the heart of the believer that he, our God, truly desires. So thank you in advance for the gift of your time, your talent, and your treasure.